am the head enterprise sales and my focus area of operations are eastern india southern india and one segment one vertical i handle all india is the education vertical now chandan and satya set the tone of the talk with endpoint security then coming to virtualization by a friend just now now the time constraint is there and uh, of course deepak da ami ek to request korbo for amar beshi samoy lagbe pore so you have to give more time later but now as we learn you know people are going to get hungry a hungry man is an angry man so having said that you know i'll just start e scan i came out with a big presentation but i'm not going to that so i'm going to talk about more about end security end point security and then about uh, cloud a little bit see we have been talking e scan first i'll tell you e scan was uh, established in 1993 uh, we are into the e scan is a developer of anti virus and content security software we are present in 90 countries worldwide uh, we started in 1993 to uh, for the first 12 years we focused on the international market because that time uh, anti virus was uh, more available as a freeware in our country now later on the last 6 years we've been focusing more in india and we've got a uh, lot of new features added to our product also now one of the topics that we discussed was endpoint security we've been talking more about external threats but what about internal threats we have internal threats also because invariably uh, you know if your notebook if your laptop is left outside if someone keep puts an usb you will not even know if the files what files he has copied so that is uh, data theft from your laptop so when you have a software you put in a usb it asks for a password so no one can steal data from your us from your laptop without your permission that is one second when a when an employee leaves an organization he invariably copies all their files and folders and moves out so here there are you know it doesn't allow anyone to copy uh, the files and folders without the system admin's knowledge and if someone indeed tries to copy something which he is not authorized to do so an alert is sent to the system admin and he gets it in the report those are some of the internal threats now another uh, i'm talking uh, from a, a you know shortage of point of time of you uh, point of you know view that some features which the corporates may find it useful this is another very important feature that enterprises will be liking is that you know in any organization the printer is a you know is one of the most misused equipment in any big network you know a lot of personal copying is done on a printer if a person is there uh, in a say if the person is the employee some person is the assume that he is the secretary of a housing cooperative of the society he will you know print his agenda minutes of the meeting and make 40 50 sets so this is a revenue loss for the organization so in our product we have a feature which will you know tell which uh, document has been uh, copied that is which is not not related to the organization number one number two it will tell from which computer the command went it will tell from which uh, how many copies were taken and at what time so if the people know that unauthorized copying is not possible because of the software the revenue the uh, printing costs of that organization will come down so these are some of the solutions we've added to the software basically e scan is anti virus and content security product but apart from that we build in some solutions which are useful for enterprises there is another very important feature that is useful and that is you know a module of asset management asset mo management by itself is a very elaborate software here we have uh, you know uh, built in a small module which will tell the system administrator which are the computers in the network if any system is down it will show which systems is down for what reason for a long time if you know if some system is down uh, it can be because either the employee must have gone on leave he may not have come to his seat uh, so, so the computer is not booted second it may not be working so then now the system administrator can proactively go in and then check what's wrong with your computer how this module was built into our software is like this we have crompton greaves as one of our oldest customers oldest clients they are a 12 year old client of ours so they were telling we don't want to invest on you know some additional software can you build some uh, 
some sort some solution you know like uh, on asset management this particular module we wanted that's how the uh, the the IT manager went around and he found that you know there were many computers lying idle so this was what uh, you know uh, motivated him to ask this question to us so for here the system administrator the system administrator will know which are the systems idle in the network he will know if the printer is down any printer is down he'll get a report this printer is not working then he will get an alert if some part is removed from a computer if a 2 gb ram is removed he'll get an alert saying that this ram is removed from your system if a 1 gb ram is put in its place instead of 2 gb he'll say it's not a 2 gb 2 gb ram it's a 1 gb ram so these are some of the features which are useful for all uh, enterprises and we not only have uh, you know anti it's antivirus, anti spyware, anti adware, anti malware protection. It is also we offer these solutions in our software. Now coming to cloud, I am uh, running a few. You know, I am not uh, going through this presentation in detail, but some area which uh, the core competency of IT uh, of eScan of the in the IT security is what I wanted to cover. Customization, which is already informed, is one of our uh, most important uh, advantages. Uh, many companies in the IT, in the antivirus industry, may not customize products. But here, if you have any particular application, depending on your area of uh, work, your organization's area of work, we can customize it for you. Uh, in Malaysia, we have we have customized a product for the government of Malaysia called Parental Control. That is, uh, for the government, we, custom, we uh, built in some parent, uh, some uh, banned sites uh, should not be open to uh, the public in Malaysia. So that we have uh, developed a product for the government of Malaysia uh, and uh, given it to them. Like that for many ISPs worldwide, like Atlantic ISP uh, in South Africa, we have developed a product where we have customized according to their requirements. So if your users are more, we can do a lot of customization depending on your area of uh, where you want it to be developed, where you want the data to be incorporated in what way. We can do the customization. Where the primary motive will be to uh, will be endpoint security and uh, you know guarding your organization against internal and external threats from uh, viruses or spam. So these are our primary motive, and we can build around many modules around your requirements, and we have. Uh, products on the Windows uh, platform, the Linux platform. Now we have come out with uh, Mac, uh, eScan for Mac OS because there was last month there was a big attack on via, uh, Mac uh, laptops. So we have come out with that product. Now we have come out, we are coming out with eScan for Android. And these are some of the developments that are happening in the product range. And we have three main technologies in our product. That is the MWL technology, where scanning for malware happens at the transport layer, at the entry point itself. Whereby it doesn't allow your malware, the viruses, or the, to come into the application layer. So it is like blocking at the gate itself, at the entry itself. So this is one of the most important features that we are known for. And in prevention of spam, we have got a technology called NILP. That is, we have uh, non-intrusive learning patterns. We have, you know, uh, put in uh, some amount of artificial intelligence to the software, whereby it acts according, it analyzes the spam as per the behavioral patterns of the user. For example, what may be spam for me may not be spam for you. If I'm a pharmaceutical company, I'll welcome brochures on medicine, literature on medicine. But for you, it may be spam. So what I'll do, I'll put it to the uh, inbox. I'll send it to the inbox. This movement will be sensed by the uh, intelligence in the software and next time it will not stop it as spam. So each person's uh, definition of spam is different. So that's how the spam gets uh, you know, uh, known and then uh, distributed accordingly. Whether it is spam or not, based on your uh, the user's behavioral pattern, it is uh, analyzed. So this is one important feature that we have in our software.
Uh, now coming out with the product, we are coming out with a product called eScan for managed services, eScan for MSPs. There, uh, you, uh, the, any service provider, he'll have his server. Now, at the moment, the servers are located outside India uh, for the products for antivirus companies who offer uh, the uh, service uh, antivirus for MSPs. So we have come out with uh, easy, with an antivirus a solution for the solution a service provider for the system integrator where he can uh, install this product in his server, local server, and from the so server he can manage from his office, he can manage all the uh, different uh, servers in the different networks in different locations. That unfortunately